What's up everybody? How y'all doing tonight? Hanging out with Rooster Man over here, Florida State University. Looking around the stadium just reminds me of the heritage and the uh, the history of college football, right? And everybody remembers the Florida State standing on this field where Bobby Bowden which roamed the sidelines, uh, rest in peace, but the legends, right? Uh, you look up on the buildings around here and you see the Warwick Duns, the Peter Warwicks, the, uh, uh, just a long list of names, the Deion Sanders, Derek Brooks, great college players, great NFL players. And you think about college football in a day and how a lot of that tends to go away because kids don't stick in a school, they transfer out. Um, so you don't get the time you don't put the time in the effort to really i don't know if kids think about their legacy anymore it's about the money right you don't think about the legacy that you leave behind and some of these stadiums at these schools everything you've kind of ever done in college football you know a lot of people back in the day always thought legacy is what you always want to leave behind when you're gone right that's all you really have is your legacy uh, you can't take money with you but what you left behind you know memories you know sitting back thinking of my younger when i was younger too watching a lot of these players play football on tv you know i remember watching the Deion Sanders. i remember work duns i remember uh, Derek Brooks. I remember the great Florida State football teams. I remember the great, you know, uh, Bobby Bowden roaming the sidelines, the battles against Steve Spurrier in Florida. Um, just the legacies, right? And you look at these older stadiums, and I think it'd be a cool thing to uh, get to go visit a lot of these old stadiums. I'm not a Florida State fan, of course, but I'm a fan of college football. And if you can't get on the sideline where Bobby Bowden once roamed this sideline right here at Florida State University and, and just get chills from it. You're not a true college football fan because I'm just telling you, it, it's something probably I never thought I'd do in my life is be somewhere a legend. You know, the legends were here. Um, it, it, it's kind of sometimes you, you run out of words to say about it. But you look around and you look at all the championships and all that stuff, and I want South Carolina to have this, you know what I mean? As far as uh, all the championships up there, the national championships, eventually, hopefully, we get one, right? Fingers crossed. May not be in my lifetime, but I would love to see it um, and celebrate the hell out of it. But it just reminds me of today's college football and today's person and people and the kids that are out there. And if I could pass a message on to a lot of these college athletes now that are hitting the transfer portals or running out of these schools, don't forget your legacy, man. You know, like when I go to South Carolina and you see the Sterling Sharps and all their names up, now you got the Clownies and the Connor Shaws that came along much later, but just look at the legacy that you leave behind. Um, transfer, 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 in, out. You know, I haven't really did a deep, deep dive into what Florida State has incoming this year but they had a great football team last year right went undefeated regular season didn't make the playoffs and then just didn't show up for their bowl game but if you sit back and man you think about the legacy back then think about the bobby bowden's maybe those conversations did happen or didn't happen during the season at the end of the season last year but you know play for pride uh if that's all you got then play for pride play for your legacy um Play for the next guys that are coming behind you, all the kids that look up to you and may end up coming to this university and playing here because you did the right things when you were playing football right here on this field. Um, and I think Florida State's first game is in Ireland this year against Georgia Tech or whatever, but it won't be won't be long. The crowds will be in here cheering again and Florida State will be playing football and it'll be college football season and we're all looking forward to it, right? But I just wanted to talk about history and just kind of, you know, getting the chills just walking over here knowing that one time Bobby Bowden, who uh, was one of my favorite coaches of all time, could have been standing in the same spot that I'm standing right now. But just wanted to say, uh, 
it, it, it's an honor that's for sure but uh hope you guys have a wonderful and a beautiful rest of your week and we'll holla at you later peace